I mean, I guess my big question is, you know, can the planet uh, and the human race address its problems fast enough to avoid sinking into genuine chaos? And on balance, I am optimistic about that, but I think it's a legitimate question. And, you know, I always think of that movie Mad Max, and I really think that that kind of scenario is conceivable. You know, if, you know, if, 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 if you know, say, uh, Israel dropped a nuclear bomb on Iran, which is not out of the question, because mm -hmm. they have nuclear bombs and they're insane in Israel. Uh, and and they're, they're playing with the world's future. What Israel is doing with Iran right now is so scary. And, and if Iran is attacked by Israel, you know, and then Iran strikes Israel back, it could start a world war and it could go in any direction. And that really worries me. And so, you know, I guess another way that maybe my question I'm really saying is, can we, here's the way, here's the, here's the big question, here's a better question. Can we reap the benefits of technology and get to a world of abundance before we allow our petty tribal disputes to sink us into disastrous warfare? Because still, this bullshit tribal religious crap that, you know, Al-Qaeda and Israel and, you know, Santorum, you know, to name three, all are trying to impose on others, uh, that's extremely destructive and extremely destabilizing. And uh, in a world where nuclear weapons exist, I think it's very scary to imagine how it could spiral out of control. And so the question is, will it spiral out of control or will we reach the age of abundance that's within our sight now? You know, you can see that possibility that an age of abundance created by technology is possible, but you can't be certain we're going to get there because a lot of very short-sighted people have control of a lot of weapons. And I definitely include the Taliban as much as I include Israel, as much as, and, you know, and I include, you know, to some extent even Obama. I mean, because even our attitude toward Iran is extremely bellicose and, you know, we Un, you know, unlike China, the U.S. still basically look, looks at the world through the lens of its own national interests. I mean, China does that too, but the U.S. looks at its own, the, the, the U.S. perceives its national interests in a much narrower way, even still, I think even than China. And that's a fairly new development. And uh, I mean, I think while we use our military for a lot of good things, I still think our military is a fundamental threat in many parts of the world, and uh, people perceive it that way. Um, which is why China just built its first aircraft carrier. You know, they're defending themselves against us in their own mind, and it's a huge waste of resources. All this military spending. I mean, it's a waste of our resources, and we force every other country to waste their resources on it too. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, there's hardly any country that's exempt from this criticism. Uh,